Well, hey everybody. What we're gonna do today on this beautiful fall day in Ohio is to mark and uh, measure some maple trees that we're gonna tap in the spring. The reason you wanna do that now is the um, easiest way to tell a maple or a species of maple is by the leaves or leaves, I guess. Depends on what Canadian, Canadian or American. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a measuring tool out of a ratchet strap and we want to measure somewhere around 31 inches 31 inches we'll tie the quickest of knots in it and you'll see why we do that in a second don't tie it too tight because you're going to want to take it back out so i'll show you a couple things i look for and how i mark my maple trees so i can find them again in the spring so you walk up to a tree you're pretty sure it's a maple you look up See the leaves, confirm it's a maple, and then you got to measure the trunk. So you're supposed to measure these about five feet up from the ground, which this particular shirt on this particular day, I've determined to be the tops of my pockets. So I'll take my ratchet strap that I had knotted. If it's larger than five feet, I'll go ahead and mark this tree. You see there, the, two, the knot doesn't meet the end, so this tree's okay to tap. I might not use it, but I'm gonna mark it anyway. The marking's pretty low budget. I just have some white paint. And I put a circle on it. That way when the uh, When it's time to drill the hole to do the tapping, I don't have to do any guessing or measuring that day. I just come back and uh, drill the hole. So as far as leaf identification goes, I'm not an expert expert, but I do know that's a hickory. That is a red oak. This is also a red oak. This yellow one here, once you get it all spread out, played out, that is a sugar maple. You can tell because there's not deep fingers. It's a very squarish looking leaf, for lack of a better descriptor. And it's a maple because you have five points. Think of the Canadian flag, eh? So if you find this kind of leaf or some variation on this theme, silver maples or red maples look a little bit different, but they all have a similarity. That would be the one you want. If you get into any of these leaves like this or like that, then you have a tree that won't give you sap like a maple will. Okay, and I'll finish this one up with, um, this is a tree that I tapped last year. See the remnants of the tap hole? See the remnants of the marker? So I'm not even gonna bother measuring it. I know it's a maple. But we'll just touch up the spray paint, so. That is how to find, identify, measure, and mark maple trees in the fall for tapping in the spring. Hope you find this useful.